bird eggs have one major purpose, which is containing the baby bird until it's done developing and ready to hatch. So it's really surprising how many different bird eggs have different patterns and colors. Let's dive into some of the ways that these speckles are incredibly useful. Birds that nest inside of tree hollows tend to lay plain, round eggs. It's dark inside the nest, and there aren't good sight lines for a predator to see the bottom of the nest where the eggs are, so there's no need to camouflage. The egg's surface is calcium carbonate crystals that make them look white. Birds that build nests in tree branches or on the ground will have much more variation between species. There are more colors, and many birds place pigment speckles on the egg. Birds are unique among animals for laying pigmented eggs, but why? The primary benefit is usually camouflage. Make the egg look like anything other than an egg. You can see how well it works in the semi-palmated plover nest. This is called pattern camouflage, and it helps the eggs hide from predators like snakes, raccoons, and even other birds. It's harder to notice the shape of an egg that has speckles on it. There is evidence that some birds, like the Japanese quail, intentionally lay eggs on a substrate that matches their own eggs. A very clever way to hide them. While we're talking about egg camouflage, I just wanted to point out that blue-footed boobies lay white eggs but cover them in dirt. This lets them match their eggs to whatever the color of dirt is in their nest. Researchers found that egg predators were most successful in only the first week after laying, which indicates that their egg camouflage is successful. There are more reasons that eggs have speckles, and another reason is to increase their strength. Eggshells have a lot of calcium, and birds provide as much calcium as they can afford to their eggs. There are birds that store extra calcium for this purpose as bony deposits on the inside of their normal bones. When it comes time to lay an egg, the bird will use its blood calcium first, then dip into the calcium deposits inside of its bones, and then if it runs out of reserves, it will start using all the remaining available calcium in its body, including the calcium that makes its muscles function, which can lead to a condition called egg binding, where the bird physically can't move its muscles enough to lay an egg. Fortunately, there is a different way to strengthen eggs without using calcium, which is to add some protoporphyrin pigments to the outside. One study found that there were more pigment speckles on thinner eggs, and the pigment corresponded to the thinnest parts of the egg. The pigment was helping to make the egg strong while reducing the potentially fatal calcium demand imposed by laying eggs. A final reason for egg speckles is perhaps the most surprising of all, which is that it lets a bird identify its own eggs. There are birds out there that don't build nests and lay their eggs in the nests of other birds. These are brood parasites, and they're Hosts are hurt by caring for a baby bird that is not their own. Some brood parasite chicks will push out the other eggs or attack the other chicks after they hatch. Basically, if a host can identify and remove a rogue egg, it is always a good thing. So what if they could make a unique label that would let them identify their own eggs, like a unique pigment pattern? This is a common adaptation in many different birds because it helps them identify an egg that is not theirs. Pigments are helping these bird species to survive. Brood parasites, for their part, have also evolved egg mimicry. Honey guide eggs have evolved to match the shape and size of host eggs. Cuckoos choose nests that contain eggs matching their own color of egg so they'll blend in and be harder to identify as an egg that's not supposed to be there. This will have to be the subject of a future video because it is so interesting. There are definitely more benefits to egg pigmentation that we haven't discovered yet. There are just too many different species and interactions out there for us to have found everything already. 
So if you're looking for an area of study that's very active and has lots of data just waiting for the person with the right insight, egg pigmentation is a pretty good choice. Maybe you will be the next person to contribute to our understanding of egg pigments. Thanks for spending a spot of time learning about birds. There are a smattering of other videos on this channel, and you can subscribe to quickly uncover new videos. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.